and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title below, today's video is going to be a huge homeware haul because as you all know, I did recently just redecorate my bedroom. If you have not already checked out my bedroom reveal, I will leave the video linked in the description box below. Um, I managed to pick up a lot of new things for my room and I really want to let you know where they're all from and their prices. So if you would like to see, just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna start off with is like the major piece that I absolutely love in the room and that is my brand new bed. I think it's so stunning, gonna cut the clip now. Um, this is the bed here. I picked this up from a shop called Harvey Norman. I think this is available in England, Ireland and Australia. It is an Australian company. Um, but this is the bed. I love it. It's very retro and very minimalistic in comparison to what my previous bed was like. I really wanted to go for different shades of wood in my room. So I went for kind of a dark mahogany colour here. Um, it's a very retro bed, like I said, it's on pin legs and you can slide stuff underneath. Whereas my bed before, you couldn't actually see underneath the bed, it just had drawers. Um, I think it's so nice. It's actually a king size bed. It's bigger than my old one. My old one was a double bed. This bed was, I think, 700 euro, quite expensive, but I am going to have it forever. Whenever I happen to move out, I am taking this bed with me because I love it so much. And also my mattress is a Emma mattress. It is brand new. And I did mention them in my video when I showed the whole bedroom reveal. If you want to find out more about them, make sure you click the link in the description. But the mattress is so cute. It fits the bed perfect. Um, so cute, should I say? I meant to say it's so comfortable. Um, but yeah, that is my stunning bed. I love it. It's my favourite piece in the whole room. On the bed for decorations, I have these cushions here and these are all from H&M Home. Now this is the first time I actually shopped on H&M Home and I absolutely love everything they have. It is so inexpensive and they have some gorgeous pieces. Um, I nearly did go a bit crazy with the cushions, but I just left it to getting these five here. So the first two I got are these really big green ones. They're so soft and they're kind of like that linen material. And the next two are these, they're kind of like a linen canvas material. They're like a weird texture, but they're still really comfortable. And they have this really cute print with leaves and a bird on it. Um, the bird in it is actually blue as well as the other cushion that I got is blue also, because blue is kind of like a color I'm trying to bring into the room in different spots. I have blue cushions, blue candle holder, a blue rug. You will see those as well in this video, but I really wanted the cushions to kind of tie all that color together and bring it up higher into the room because the rug is on the floor and you can't really notice it as much much as the cushions. Um, I absolutely love them. Like I said, they were so inexpensive and I do have them linked below if they're still available online. I believe all together, they were probably around 50 euro for the five cushions, which is so cheap. So I really love these. They're so stunning. I'm probably gonna go back and get more even for the chair that I'm sitting on right now. And um, they had so many to choose from. So I highly recommend checking out H&M Home. So sticking in with the whole H&M Home, the two pictures that I have of my bed, sorry, the two picture frames are from H&M home and these were only 19.99 so 20 euro so inexpensive and these frames are huge the pictures i have inside them are from decenio i think is how you pronounce it um and these pictures were actually really expensive for the two pictures and delivery it was about 50 or 60 euro which I think is pretty crazy because I was really disappointed with the quality. It is literally just a really thick paper. Um, I could have printed them myself. One of the pictures, like the Chow Bella online, it's advertised like it's kind of a blush pink and it arrived in this kind of gray color. Um, the pages were kind of creased when I got them. Uh, delivery took really long, took about two and a half weeks. Um, so I was actually really disappointed in this website because I had really high hopes for them. I was gonna get some more pieces for this wall here, but I decided not to order from them again. Very disappointed, but I do still really love the pictures. I like how they look, just the quality. I don't think it's worth the money. Um, but I think they look gorgeous in my H&M frames. So altogether, this was probably just over 100 euro. Quite expensive, but I'm gonna have these forever as well. They're big statement pieces in the room. I wanted really oversized pictures for over my bed. I think they're, what's the measurements? 50 by, I don't know. I have it linked in the description box below anyway, if you're curious to how big they actually are. Um, but I love these. I love the face one in particular. I just think it's really kind of abstract and goes with my whole, I don't know, modern look in my bedroom, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I really like the pictures as well. On each side of my bed, I also have these two wall sconce lights, I think, wall sconces. I don't exactly know what you call them. Um, these are from Ikea and they were only 20 euro each. They're also available in white, but I did want to go for the black. I just wanted to add a bit more color to the room because my walls were all white in my previous bedroom. So I wanted to get a bit away from that. So I decided to go for the black ones and they have a really nice gold kind of 
detailing to them um, and I love how the wire is exposed on these they're not like your typical type of wire they kind of have um, like a material wrapped around them a black and white material so it looks really nice I think it finishes off that whole corner perfectly they're really handy as well rather than having a lamp on your bedside table I now have loads of room on my bedside table um, and I just have these two lights to the side of my bed so I think they're gorgeous and I absolutely love them my bedside table is also from Ikea and this was very inexpensive I think it was only about 20 euro possibly 30 euro but like I said, with everything, I will have them all linked in the description box below. And um, again, because my lights are black, I also wanted the bedside table to be black just to tie in all the colours together. I went for a metal bedside table because, as you all know, I'm trying to go for that kind of minimalist style. And I think this is perfect for the room. I also really like the shelving on it. And um, there's like a really small shelf underneath, which is perfect for a little wicker basket that I have from um, Primark. And I put the likes of my television remote in here or I put my laptop in here. It's really nice and small and underneath I just keep like my diffuser and some jewellery containers. I think it just looks really cute. I don't have it decorated too crazy. On the top of the bedside table I have a picture frame that I got from Zara Home. This was only I think about 10 euro on sale. I think it's so cute and I love the whole wooden effect to it. It goes perfect with my wardrobes. My wardrobes have like a bamboo door so I think the whole picture frame, the wardrobes, my wash basket, they all tie in together really well. And if you haven't noticed, I've gone for kind of a mixture type of wood texture in the room. Um, I've gone for bamboo, I have the dark oak, I have the light wood floors, I have the light wood picture frames. Um, but yeah, that is the only thing that I managed to get from Zara Home. I did also pick up a lovely poof but it is way too big for the room, so I'm actually gonna be giving that away. Um, but yeah, that is what I got from Zara Home. They also have some stunning pieces and I would have bought so much more, but I actually shopped there last for the room, so I managed just to pick up a picture frame, but I love it. So the chair I'm sitting on right now is from Ikea, and this was also kind of on the pricey side. This chair was 200 euro, um, but I have literally been looking at this chair for so long. I love the whole style about it. Again, bringing in the different type of wood. This is kind of more of a mahogany style wood, and it has the gorgeous black leather, which matches my bedside table and my wall sconce lights. Um, this is kind of just like my chill area that like where I'm going to film some videos if I'm not in my studio. It is so comfortable. You can like sink back into it. I love it. And I just have an old cushion that I used to have in my bed just to make it a little bit more cozy looking. For the shelving over here in my corner, you can't actually see it right now. Um, these shelves I picked up from a shop called Sosterine Green and these were also in my old bedroom so I'm not sure if you can get these anymore but I will try link a similar piece below. I think Ikea do some really nice shelving. Um, and on my shelf I have a new candle holder from Primark, this lovely little blue one. The print is actually quite similar to my rug which, we use, which you will see in the next clip and this is to tie in the whole blue accents around the room like the pillows, rug and now the candle holder. The picture frame behind it is also from Primark and this is like a magnetic picture frame and I think it was only like six euro so very cheap. Um, beside it I also have a little pot from Sustream Green and just a little um, fake ivy plant from Ikea. I think everyone has these plants. I had them all over my room last time before I decorated it. We have them all over the house. I love them. And on the top shelf I also have this lovely little vase from Ikea and I picked this up in the bargain section for I think like two euro. It has a few scrapes on the back so I just twisted it around but I just think it looks really cool and finishes off the shelf very nicely. The next item that I got here on the wall in my corner next to my shelving is this really cool picture frame from H&M Home. It's actually magnetic and um, it has no glass to it no plastic it just comes with literally the two sticks and the string and um, I do have to get a picture that does fit this but for now I'm just going to use this cactus picture that my dad took in San Diego and um, I love it I love this picture frame I think it's just really cute and very minimalistic to go with the whole style of the bedroom and I will have it linked below if it's still available online so the next part of the room is my gorgeous rug this is from a shop called Avoca it is available only in Ireland you might be able to get it online, um, but I love it. I love the colour and I love the print. I know blue is quite a different colour for me to pick. I mean, the rest of my room is like beige and white, but I think the blue looks really nice and it's really nice accent colour, like I said, and I've said loads of times through this haul. It matches my cushions and my candle holder and it just ties it all in together. And um, because I got rid of my carpet floor, I wanted to add a rug just to add a bit more coziness to it, um, just so it's not as hot, not as cold coming into winter. So I really like having this rug underneath the bed. I also think it frames the whole bed setting perfectly. So yeah, that is my stunning rug. I absolutely love it. 
And finally, the huge change in my room and the biggest new thing in my room are my wardrobes. Now, I will go into more detail in another video where I'm going to show you how I've organised the whole wardrobe itself and what it looks like. And I'm going to talk you through how we designed it. But they are from Ikea and they are the Pax wardrobes. So I will leave whatever I can linked below. I don't know exactly what you can link for these because you basically do build them yourself. Um, but I love them. I love the whole mirrors in the centre. It just reflects the whole room, makes it look lovely and big, which is what I really wanted. So yeah, I'm really happy with my wardrobes. Okay guys, and that is it for today's video. I really hope you all enjoyed this little homeware haul. Like I said at the start, if you haven't already, be sure to go check out my bedroom makeover, the haul before the middle and the after of how the room looks all together. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think, what was your favourite piece, what you may or may not have liked. I would love to get your feedback. Also, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. And like always, guys, I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.